how do I know if I have a problem? So, or in, in parents' cases, like how do I know if my kid has a problem? And the short answer that I have is that if it causes a problem, it is a problem. So if it's affecting you in some way, then I think it's a problem. If it's affecting your academics, if it's affecting your professional success, if it's affecting your relationships, if it's affecting your physical health, if it's affecting your mental health, then it is a problem. And in the field of psychiatry, we don't have like diagnostic tests. We don't do blood tests. We don't have X, I mean, we sometimes do MRIs and stuff, but for the most part, like, you know, how do we know if someone is depressed or they're just sad? Like, how do we draw that line? And the short answer is if it causes a problem, it is a problem. If you're sad, that's kind of okay, but if you're so sad that you can't go to work, if you're so sad that you can't, you know, be the person that you need to be for your spouse or your kids, then we call that depression. And I think the same line exists for video games. So I think in, the, in short, if you guys are seeing impacts in terms of your child's performance at school, if you're seeing impacts in terms of like who they are at home, and this is a common complaint that I sort of get from parents and I sometimes ask them, when your child plays a video game, do they become someone else? Like, do they get really irritable? Do they get super moody? Do they become really disrespectful? And a, a big conversation that I have with a lot of parents is like asking, you know, they, they kind of come up with a question of like, where did my child go? Like, that's not the kid that they were like two years ago. They, they're not your child anymore. They just become someone else. They get so engrossed in the video game that they don't even seem like themselves. And if that's what you guys are facing, then I definitely think it's a problem. 